Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I just came back after one week without electricity and internet because of Typhoon. Sincerely thank you for your concerns. In this video, I will show you another way to increase FPS for this game. For now, I recommend that you do this instead of FSR3 mod, because it works very smoothly. Few visual problems, moreover it can work with online mode. For those who have installed FSR3 mod, you should uninstall it before using lossless scaling to reduce visual issues. I'm testing with FSR to just FSR2, not FSR3 mod. And medium preset. I'm getting 3x to 4x FPS, as in the video you can see my game is not smooth. We will use lossless scaling V to 0.11. In the scaling type section, you can choose AMD, NVIDIA or LS1 and even turn it off. This option only slightly changes the sharpness relative to sharpness. In this test I will use NVIDIA to increase the sharpness a bit. LSFG 2.3 and try by 2 mode first. Turn on performance to reduce loss of native FPS. Try with sync mode off, max frame latency is 1. If you use an MD GPU and find problems with input lag, you can try with a value of 2. Capture AP needs to be DXGI. Let's scale. I'm having 43 native FPS. After scaling it, is only 30 for native FPS. With by 2 mode, I lost 9 native FPS, which is equivalent to 20%. In return, my game was really smooth with about 60 FPS from lossless. My first impression is that it's smooth, no issues with input lag you need to keep native FPS above 30, preferably 40 after scaling to get similar or better results. You can rest assured about the smoothness, now comes the issue of visuals. Lossless scaling worked well, there's only a little flickering at the character's head. It's really insignificant, while playing it won't affect your experience much. For those who have a 60Hz monitor and don't have much native FPS, x Demote is the right choice. Now try with by 3 mode. I'm getting 53 native FPS without using lossless, and after scaling it's only 36. I lost 17 native FTS, which is equivalent to 32%. So using X3 mode or X4 mode depends on your native FPS. If you don't have enough native FPS and it drops below 30, you may have input lag and visual problems. Currently my native FPS is still above 30, and it works almost perfectly, the game is very smooth. Regarding visual issues, it seems to be similar to by 2 mode. There is a little flickering tearing, it is insignificant and has a lot of impact. If you meet the conditions as I mentioned, 
Your game will be fine. No problem with input lag. Try with buy for mode. I'm getting 50 native FPS, and it's only 30 FPS after using buy for mode. Loss of 20 native FPS, which is equivalent to 40%. But in return your FPS will be quadrupled. My native FPS is quite low. Maybe I need to change the graphics settings a bit to improve it for more objective test results. The game is very smooth with minor visual issues. As long as your native FPS is still at least 30 FPS after scaling, lossless scaling will still work well. Buy for mode will be worth it for anyone with a high refresh rate like 120 Hz or higher. Summarize lossless scaling will work fine. Your game will be very smooth, with minor visual issues. It is especially useful for those who use the legal version of the game and have problems with the FSR3 mod. In addition, lossless scaling will be safe even in online mode. If you have the required native FPS, at least 30 and preferably 40 native FPS after scaling, lossless will work almost perfectly. If you only have 2x or 3x native FPS, then the FSR3 mod may be a more suitable solution. A little more testing with medium settings, native resolution and by 2 mode with lossless scaling v2.11. Everything looks quite sharp with native rays. This is also another case where you can use lossless scaling. As long as you don't let your FPS drop like me lol. Can you not hasten the damn process? Seismic disruptions have occurred. Launch trajectory may have been altered. Stand by, Nikos. 